How's it going guys? Balder here and I am in the F-14. A truly sexy plane, as you can no doubt tell. And one that a ton of people have been waiting for. And not just in the realm of DCS, but people have been asking for this for about 32 years. And can you blame them? I certainly can't. Because this is a sexy bird, and there have been a lot of video games based off it from Afterburner to Ace Combat, but let's be honest, this might be the first time anyone has had a true experience with the F-14. So, without further ado, it is time for me to take this bird up. The spoilers are extended, but not because of any particular reason other than, hey, we don't want this plane moving. But once you increase the throttles, they move up. Let's go full afterburner. Screw mill power. We know what we gotta do. Bring up the flaps, bring up the gear. Watch this magnificent bird take off. Holy crap. Well, if you are new to my channel, I do this thing called uh, Terrorizing Nelchik. This is where I am, and I'm going to fly as close to buildings as possible to see how maneuverable it is. Of course, my Rio might oppose to this, but eh, what can I say? One thing I do have to worry about, though, is that this is quite a big wing diameter. I can't just cut it very close to the buildings like I could, but oh yeah. This thing definitely has a lot of control to it. Ah, there we go. And as you can tell, the wings do vary. It is a variable swept wing, as just about everyone and their dog knows about, but still, something worth mentioning because this can change how the plane behaves. Right now, I currently believe it is on automatic. Yeah, it won't let me drive it forward, but still. An amazing plane for an amazing Navy. Gotta give it so much credit. Because the F-14, aside from being a hit in Hollywood, is also a very old plane with a very long history service. And what I mean by that is that it served way back in the 70s all the way until 2005. And in so, it has served over Libya, it has served in Iraq both times, both Desert Storm and Iraqi Freedom. It has been used in Afghanistan, it has been, I believe, used in Kosovo. Can't imagine why it wouldn't be. And it is also still being used today by the Iranian Air Force. It is a very, very, very good plane, also able to do a lot of tricks. It is a multi-role fighter for all intents and purposes, however, it does have the ability, well, it is more or less an intercept fighter. So it can do guided bombing, it can do strafing runs, it can do a lot of things. However, mostly it's going to be used for air-to-air. -air. And that's perfectly fine, because this thing has a fuck ton of thrust. It has a lot. Uh, it has a huge top speed. And, let's not forget, the Phoenix missiles. The AIM-54s? Oh yeah. 
That one's going to draw a lot of controversy in the multiplayer servers. I don't care. Because it does have its drawbacks, but for the most part, the reason why people don't exactly like it is because it has a ton of range. That's because it is designed to take off from a carrier and shoot a missile at a threat long before it ever reaches a carrier. Because if, you, if the U.S. were to ever lose one of our supercarriers, they would completely lose their offensive capabilities until the next carrier comes in. Hey, the sink rate is too high. Oh, shut up, Goose. Or Jester, whatever you want to call him. I'll go Jester, because I believe in the movies, Jester was uh, voiced by Michael Ironside. Same guy who played Sam Fisher. And I can't just say, shut up, Sam. Michael Ironside is way too cool of a guy. But as you can tell, absolutely loving this plane. I have no idea how to land it, but there's no harm in trying. Also, for some reason, I have no idea why the ADF is going ballistic. But I can tell you from a previous flight that you can actually knock your attitude indicator and your, and your heading indicator out of whack. How you do that is beyond me, but it was gained through pulling insane G's. But if you do lose that, hey, it's all right. We are in day VFR conditions, and we have a backup attitude indicator. We can, at least here, afford to lose it. Of course, I imagine if I break that thing, the pilots and the captain are not going to be very happy at me. That's fine. Think rate's too high. Shit, come on. Yeah, he doesn't like the f way I fly. I'm too insane for my Rio. He should not have joined the Navy if that were the case. And of course, the climb rate of this plane is absolutely ridiculous. Hell, oh, it's barely bleeding off speed. I'm already, what, 33,000 feet in? Not even stalling, but I am getting closer. Okay, now it was at the realm of stalling. But alright. This is the F-14. Absolutely beautiful plane. I can't wait to try this out more. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. And you, and as always, you have a nice day.